Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and this is Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition Shadows of Um. <laughs> That's a mouthful. But yeah, it is time. It is time for the unlikely party to return in Baldur's Gate 2. We are gonna pick up with the exact same team that we just played. I say just played. It was a bit of a while ago, but that we finished Baldur's Gate 1 with. So it's gonna be the story of Torwar and his merry friends. So for those of you who uh, didn't uh, check that series, I mean, what are you doing here? Go check out that series first. Uh, for those of you who did check that series, uh, well, say hello to the unlikely party again. But again, for those of you who didn't, uh, <laughs> what is the unlikely party? Well, it's actually quite simple. It is a custom party made out of uh, classes and characters that I've never really played with. So uh, we are not going to be playing with the existing characters in this game. There are a couple of reasons for that. First, I would say that if you haven't played Baldur's Gate 2 yet, I mean, go do that and uh, see this as a spoiler-free run for the relationships between characters that exist in the game. So you can go and explore that for yourself. Second reason is because I've already done it several times, so I'm not really super inter interested in it myself. So this is not going to be a playthrough where you're going to get to no characters in the game. No, where you're going to play with completely random characters, not random, but uh, customized characters. So um, I'm going to also tell you how to actually do that. I did this in the uh, Baldur's Gate 1 playthrough and I'm going to do it here as well and it's actually exactly the same. So the way that you want, if you want to play with a custom party, uh, because you can't do that in single player, you can't start a single player game and create a full party, you can only start a single player game and start with a single character. So what you want to do is you want to go into multiplayer, you create your party, uh, you can create as many characters as you want to, one, two, three, four, etc, etc. You start the game, and as soon as you're able to, you drop a save. You then quit the game, go into the save folder, and there's going to be two folders. There's going to be one that's called save, and one that's, that is going to be called MP save for multiplayer. Simply go into the multiplayer uh, save folder, copy the folder for the save that you just did, for example, the, uh, a quick save, uh, you copy that into the single player save folder, load up the game and voila you have a load uh, a file that you can load in single players you no longer are you're no longer playing in the multiplayer but you have the characters characters that you've created quite simple and uh, just gets you out of multiplayer settings etc etc which is exactly what i want now the, we are going to start off the game in just a second, and uh, I'm not going to be able to show you the characters right now. Well, I could, but it would be in the multiplayer menu, uh, and I don't really want to do that. I'm going to show you them inside the game. However, Baldur's Gate 2 has an intro sequence, as opposed to Baldur's Gate 1, and I do want to include the intro sequence in this playthrough. Because that's just how I like to do this. And So what that means is that I am going to... Uh, go into multiplayer and create my party again <laughs> you're not gonna see this and um, i'm gonna start a game with that uh, that party just to make sure that you get to see the intro sequence and as soon as i can i'm gonna load the game with a save that i have previously made and we're gonna take off from there so that is uh, just what we are gonna do right now so with that it is time to start Baldur's gate 2. Ah, the child of Ball has awoken. It is time for more experiments. The pain will only be passing. You should survive the process. Interesting. You have much untapped power. Do you even realize your potential? More intruders have entered the complex, Master. They act sooner than we had anticipated. No matter, they will only prove a slight delay. Wake 
up, you. Wake up. Come on. We have to get out of here. And here we are. So yeah, that is what happened uh, in the intro sequence. And as you can see, we are in multiplayer. So up here you have the multiplayer chat. That, this is what I sort of... This is one thing that I want to get rid of, <laughs> by the way. Yes, you know, a couple of buttons here that has to do with uh, multiplayer. That is why we're not going to be, be in multiplayer when we play this game. But we're going to have a bit of a chat with Imwen. So what the hell is going on here? So yeah, apparently he messed with my head as well. All I know is we were near Baldur's Gate and got jumped. This, ooh, this is actually a good thing. Because I was thinking about this before recording this episode. I never really remembered how we're here. I mean, I know why we're here. I know I know the story with Irenicus, etc, etc. But I never knew how we came to be here. But yeah, okay, so we apparently were near Baldur's Gate and got jumped. I don't know why she was there, because I have not been with her, with her at all. Apparently we just hooked up with each other. That's fair enough then. And um, yeah, Imwen, she is not doing well in this game, unless you say that. He has been doing things to us, that is exactly what he has been doing. And... Uh, I'm I'm a little bit uh, confused here because I'm uh, apparently not really sure exactly what's happening here. So what do you mean by doing things? Um, yeah, she doesn't really want to think about it at all. And she thinks that she he did the same to us. And I am indeed want I indeed want to know who the hell did this to me and I owe them a depth of pain. And later, <laughs> and isn't it very convenient that she just arrived when, you know, that little thief guy was being killed? Yeah, a bit interesting. And um, yeah, she's hurting as well. She's hurting like in a weird way. Let's hope that that doesn't happen to me, you know. So yeah, assassins apparently came for our captor is what she gathers. People are dead all over. And uh, she really wants us to get going. And I'm just gonna say, uh, uh, we won't go far on our own. Is there anyone here who can join with us? Well, we can say, because uh, I'm not gonna bring her. So how can I? How can I put this to her in a most sensible way? That we are not gonna be uh, going at all. So you seem awfully quick to abandon me, <laughs> which is terrible thing to say. A terrible, terrible thing to say to her in this in, in the state. <laughs> uh, yeah, she didn't, didn't really like that. She'll drag me out of here. Uh, we should uh, look in the room to the west, and I think I saw some weapons. Indeed. I don't think it's our gear, but uh, yeah, probably what we want to check first. So yeah, this is my party over here. So sadly, Imwen, you're gonna get removed. I'm so sorry for that, by the way. Well, that's gratitude for you. You aren't going to abandon me here, are you? We have to stay together. I... I feel it. Yeah, if we split up, it'll be easier for us to sneak out of here. I mean, it always worked on Scooby-Doo, right? That, that always worked out. Yeah, she, it makes sense, but it feels wrong. <laughs> uh, that, 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 that's that, then. And here we are. Are. So, uh, this is the point where I'm gonna just drop a quick load, and we are gonna take off from here. And here we are, and for some reason I think I bugged out Imwen, because she's hanging around still. That's interesting. Okay, she she's here still. <laughs> well, if you don't get a move on, you're gonna die in here at some point, so that's just fun. Right, uh, let's, uh, let's start getting a move on here. Let's get out. Let's yes, get everyone up. We'll Can you? Down. No, you can't get out. That is fine. Uh, bring Mr. Thief over here. Because there are a couple of things that we can pick up from here. So, remove the trap. That's a good one. Good start. Uh, oh, I've already done that. And these do not contain any stuff like that. There is a key here. We need the key. There we go. Key to open up the cages. I think it's kind of a fun thing that they did here, uh, for w when you have more than one character, that there are cages that they can be in. I think it's a cool touch, actually. Right, here we are, and we are gonna do this one, because this it is be. how I always like to play. Come on. Uh, bit weird. <laughs> Everybody get into position, we're gonna... we're gonna... No, this is actually not the correct one, no. Why did I do that one? This is the one. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be so annoying. Uh, like this. 
There we go. Beautiful. Right. So we need to do a couple of things. First of all, we're going to present the party. So, uh, what is don't have to pause. Let's start with the main character. Torvar, he is a cavalier, which is a sort of a paladin who is a little bit more, I think is a little bit more fighty, perhaps. I think that that might be a thing. So this is Torvar. I got really lucky when rolling for him. Uh, obviously, I was looking for high rolls, and I got one. But not only did I get high rolls, I also got a 18 over 100. So that is basically maxed out 18. You cannot get higher 18 than that. So obviously a little bit low on intelligence, but the rest of it is basically as high as he can go. Now the beautiful thing about uh, Torvar here, and something that actually saved us in a lot of situations in Baldur's Gate 1, is that he is, first of all, resistant to fear, he is resistant to poison, and resistant to mind control. That is going to be pretty damn useful in this game as well, if I am not incorrect. I think that that is actually going to be super, super useful. So I'm really happy about him. He is going to be running around with Warhammer preferably, and obviously a shield. Then we have Alviaran. She is a totemic druid. And she is the character that I, I think I messed up a little bit. Because when I created her, I checked the uh, sort of guide which stats is important for various uh, various classes. And it came up that uh, Charisma was important for Druids. I don't think it is. I think Wisdom is important to Druids. <laughs> She's my main healer and I tanked her Wisdom. Well, not tanked her Wisdom, but I dropped it kind of low. So uh, I've been m moving it up uh, with Tomes in the Baldur's Gate 1, so I think that she actually got two of them. So she's not super terrible at this point, but she's also not as good as she could have been. So uh, it's a bit interesting. So she has, I think that uh, that should be true in this game as well. What is it? Yes, she has uh, summoned spirit animals, so she can create animals out of thin air, which is very, very useful. Next, we have Juliana, who is a Sun Soul Monk, which is, you know, a bit cool. I wanted to have something different for my sort of main damage dealer, and it became a monk. She has also a couple of special abilities. She has uh, Sun Soul Ray, Flaming Fists, a bit of Leon House, which is fun, but also Greater Sun. I don't know what half of these are, so that's beautiful. I definitely didn't use them enough in <laughs> my... Baldur's Gate 1 playthrough, so I'm going to try and use them a little bit more in this game and probably read up a little bit more exactly how they work. Now, she has a few proficiencies, but uh, mainly she... Well, actually, I did use... Yes, I actually did use weapons with her, that, that is true. Uh, but she has also single weapon side, so only one weapon. But she can also be... Uh, she can also be unarmed, and I'm a little bit unsure about unarmed. Because the biggest issue could be that it doesn't count as plus one or more. And if her unarmed doesn't count as plus one or more, well, she's not going to hit stuff in, you know, later stages of the game. So we'll see, we'll see how I play her. Next up, Ulan, our uh, archer. So he is obviously one of the classes that I have been playing with, because obviously Minsk is also a ranger. Archer is a ranger type. But archer is... Obviously, that more specific to ranged damage dealing, and he is uh, pretty damn good at it. First of all, he is uh, pretty damn high up on the longbow, and he's also well, he's really really good at it. Let's just say, and the archer also gets a yes. he gets a little called shot ability to get more. Is it more damage or more accuracy? I don't know. Never mind. Also, we have something that I've never played with ever, which is a bard. <laughs> uh, this one is specifically a Scald, and I probably should have read up on this, because I've all but forgotten exactly what the idea here is. Uh, so this Nordic Bard is also a warrior. Great, great strength, skill, and virtue. Songs inspire sagas of battle. Oh, that, that might be it, that the song that uh, this Scald has is actually... Yeah, exactly. I think that this is uh, a specific Bard song, yes. That is exactly why I picked this one. So, bo bonus to hit, bonus to AC. And obviously, first level is the only thing that you're going to get when you're uh, 
in Baldur's Gate 1, but we are going to get to level 15, absolutely. So uh, we're going to get a bigger bonus when she turns to level 15, but that is uh, that's some time away. <laughs> so not really right now. And last up, we have our Thief and... Uh, or also, by the way, yeah, bards do magic. And then we have a, another character, which is also a class that I play with, but I didn't really see how I could... Uh, get another spellcaster because I tend to want to have at least two spellcasters in my parties and uh, since I couldn't go sorcerer or mage and I absolutely don't want to do a wild mage because oh, wild mages are horrible it became an illusionist thief and obviously we have John Johnson in this game who is already a illusionist thief so that's a bit of a shame that we had to do one but I tend to I, I don't know how often I use John Johnson actually. I think that I rather use myself as a spell dealer and then I do Edwin. Because you know, I always do uh, I always do evil parties, obviously, because that's what you do. So I generally don't play with that character, but I have in the past. And obviously I needed someone to do thievery things, so that is what he's been doing. So he's actually pretty damn good. 100% open lock, 100% fine trap, so you should not have a problem with anything. And I am boosting his pickpocket now. Which is also something that I never really used. So I'm going to try to use that a bit more in this game, I think. I never really used it in Baldur's Gate 1. So we'll see if I can do that. Now obviously these three are ranged, these three are melee. So that's sort of the setup that we have. So let's uh, let's get going. By the way, voices are a little bit different in this game because uh, the voice files are not the same as in Baldur's Gate 1. But I have attempted to uh, do it as similar as I can to what we had in Baldur's Gate 1. Consider it done. So he's gonna sound like that. That, that. that is the main sound that we're gonna be hearing in this game. By the way, let's check settings here for sound. Uh, command sound selection. I think that this is... yeah, that, that is actually exactly how I want that to be. Good, good, good. Yes, so... I will do my best. You are gonna have, I said that you were hopefully gonna have a hammer. Warhammer over here, that's for you. You need a, uh, I think, spear. Which one is better? 1d6 piercing, 1d6 crushing, speed 4, speed 6. Let's go with a, let's go with a stick. That's okay. Now you, what was it that you had? You had... Katana and all the Scimitar Bakashi Ninja 2, and I think that we are going to find something of that in here. We do have a Katana. Katanas are nice. Did we ever get a Katana in Baldur's Gate 1? I what don't think we did. Now, you're not going to find really anything here, but you can pick up the sword. In here... Do we not have... Oh, that's annoying. By the way, here's the, the golden pantaloons. Very, very important item. Uh, okay, so you're not gonna get a... Right, there's no ranged stuff just yet. That is true. That is true. Well, that's fine. Some sure thing. Oop, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can take the short sword and you... Because you're... You, you are gonna be uh, carrying all of this. Okay, fine. Not the uh, potions. That's obviously gonna go to you. Get that. Can you identify? You can identify the dagger, so you're gonna keep that. You can all do this. Good, good, good. You already have that. You have your stick, you have your hammer. There we go. Now, can you identify these? You should be, yeah, golden pantaloons. So in this game, we're gonna be looking for the silver pantaloons, I think. I think it's the silver pantaloons. Right, armors. We need you, we need you, and we need... Uh, yeah, you're gonna have the splint mail right. Obviously he's gonna get the heavy stuff first. Yes, you... Without doubt. I think you can... No, you cannot have that, actually. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, you can have that, though. You are not gonna have any armor whatsoever. That means that you... No, you can also not have that one. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, you can actually have this one for now, because you, you, you actually are okay with that. And I think that that is it for, for what we're going to do well. here. Um, actually, I, that, that's a bit annoying as well. Uh, mouse scroll speed, is that, is that what we're doing? Yeah, th there we go, that's better. 
You can move it with the middle control or middle mouse yes. button, but uh, let's do it like this Start instead. So, yeah, here uh, you're here as well. I swear, traveling with you is never dull. And I can say, help refresh my memory as to who you are. <laughs> yeah, I have taken like several locks to not only the head but my entire body. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say. So yeah, uh, she has some issues with that. <laughs> Let's just say. So yeah, we have traveled for together too long for such games, and I will answer plain true if it will help. Yeah, she is Yahera, and apparently she thinks that we travel together. And also, her husband Khalid was apparently with us. They never were for real, which is again one of the interesting things about this game the fact that you can not have these people in your party but for some reason they're here like why would these people specifically be here when we didn't even have them in our party it's a bit weird but that's fine she wants to be in our party and yes indeed we have uh, gotten many enemies and we have dispatched all of them there is that is very very true and indeed, I have found the key to open up this door. Here we go. Ta-da! That is a relief indeed. And uh, let's see which is the proper... Here we go. Find your way out. We have a greater escape if we split up. I wouldn't disagree with you, Logic. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't really go for that. But uh, there is safety in company of friends. And... Uh, no, sorry. I do not wish that company. I, I was trying to let you down easily, but uh, fine, if you want to be that way. There we go. Go away. Now let's talk to Minsk. Hello, Minsk. Ah, Minsk will be free. These bonds will not hold my wrath. Butts will be liberally kicked in good measure. I mean, I am a little bit sad to not have Minsk in the party because obviously he has a lot of very, very fun voice lines in this game. But uh, sadly, Minsk is going to be left out. But we're going to have a little bit of fun with him anyway. So yeah, Minsk, you mighty warrior spirit must find his parts unbearable. And time for short talk, that is, time is short for talk, that is small. Release me. I will rent beatings down upon all who have dared touch Touch me, and, and Dinah here, she will be avenged. So apparently Dinah here is dead. So is she trapped here? Trapped her spirit. Her spirit is trapped in a cage created by my failure. How was to guard her? But she, she, they, they killed her as I watched, you see. I know not who they were, but I will redeem myself. Will you help me? We'll join together once more, and our fury will be such that bars will run their quills dry. Yes, ink will be scarce wherever we go. And... Uh, I will do. Uh, so, so I, I will uh, try it for you, but I don't know how to open your cell. I do not know either. The bar said no lock at all. They are smithed together. I'm proud they feared me enough to imprison me permanently. And are you insane? Perhaps it's best if I did release you. You you turn your back on those in need. You are abandoning me in my hour of shame. You, you are no better than those that killed Dinah here. You are filth that I called friend. Do not make me add to uh, add your ass to the kicking list. I will do so reluctantly, but I will do it. Choose your path now. You are quite clearly insane. You shall stay right here. I will make sure you do not live long enough to abandon more friends. I will. I will. I will do all of this as soon as I get these bars open. Rawr! The bars. They bend and twist with my berserker strength. The means can do are free. No, you will not. No. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. You said what you did just to get me mad. Mad enough to break free. <laughs> you are as smart as Boo sometimes. I am indeed smart as Boo sometimes. I do love that little monologue, by the way. It's just great fun. So, we can resume our adventures together. No, we cannot. We should uh, split up. <laughs> Question mark. Uh, we shall meet again when I'm worthy of serving in a company of good and true people. And that will, and that we shall meet again. I do not doubt. For whenever there is evil walking funny, there is Minsk Foot doing the work of goodness. Come, Boo, we must go. What? Yes, of course. My hamster says he will miss you. Such loyalty you inspire, even in rodents. Be proud, as Minsk is. I love Minsk. But yeah, sadly, we are not going to be playing with Minsk at all. By the way, there is a. C can we not use this, by the way? I would assume we can't, but what if I click this? No, some key of some sort. We don't have keys. What a task. 
Right, it is time to actually, you know, properly get going. It is time to properly get going. By the way, ooh, I need to do a few things first that I notice. Oh, by the way, yes. one thing, uh, Ulan here, he has racial enemies in Baldur's Gate too. And obviously I picked Mind Flayers, because they are horrible and we are going to have to face some of them. And I just felt that that was a good choice. I could have gone you know, dragons, I guess, but uh, I don't know if we're going to try and kill dragons. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I went for Mind Flayers. I think that that is a good choice. Uh, spells. Spells, spells, spells. Uh, we need to set this up, by the way. So we have some horrors. We have some acid arrows. Let's do one more of those. Yes. You have skull traps. Uh, but we don't have any uh, we don't have any ones so let's set up a fireball and then we have confusion that's fine that is fine you have greater malison and ice storm why is there no you want to go here no no, no tool tips on this occasion uh, but yeah greater malison and ice storm i'm okay with that um, you have spell thrust hold person the want hold person that is a one target, right? One creature and one creature and any enemy within four feet. How the what? This spell holds one d4 humans. Okay, so it actually is more than one person. Well, that's cool. Uh, yeah, let's let's have that. And I do like that it actually remembered from the save file that I used that we had used some of these. So um, we have one too many here. I could actually see myself have this. Do I need invisibility? I don't think I need invisibility right now. So let's just have it like that. And obviously he had a lot of uh, stuff on him, which uh, we don't have anymore. So we are going to remove like that. Oh, I need to remove more. Uh, let's remove this. Yeah, that, that's a nice setup. Now obviously some of these are already used, so we're not going to be able to use that. Now what do you have? One too many first level ones uh, that is what that is resist fire and cold i don't need that right now i think uh, same here we do want to cure disease because we might stumble into some stuff like that we do want the defensive harmony that is chaotic commands which is just really really good i don't know exactly how useful it is right now I'll remove one and go for one cure critical wounds. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think that that is it. No level six so far. Right. I think honor. that that is pretty Actual much wet. where we want to be. We have uh, the same setups for... Uh, same setups for our scripts, etc., etc. So that should be good. So yes, yeah, some of you are not sounding as you did before, by the way. Yeah, the bodies of several black hooded thieves litter the hallways, slaughtered by a massive release of magical energy. From distant explosions that you can still hear, we are not hearing any explosions, but whatever. It seems as if whatever battle killed these men still yes, rages. It shall be. So uh, it is time to get going. We are going to start finding some methods. Ow, ow, ow. Crap. Well, that, that started well. Thank you for that. Uh... Uh, 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 you go fix this. Yeah, go fix that. Thank you. Ow, crap. Well, that 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 started well, didn't it? <laughs> crap. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, early stages of this little dungeon is a okay. And by the way, we are playing on core rules, so uh, core D and D rules. We're also playing with. Uh, you know, sort of permadeath. Uh, that is to say, no, the game, the series is not over if my main character dies. That is not what I'm saying uh, with permadeath. But what I am saying is that I'm not going to reload if someone dies. I mean, obviously, if my main character dies, yes, I will reload. But uh, if anyone else dies, then they're dead until I can revive them. So uh, be a little bit careful. Be a little bit careful. By the way, saying that, Ulon, drink a bit. Uh, by the way, who can you can have it, but I don't want you to have it because I want you to actually. Yes. Right, th those are the sheep potions. They aren't really useful. So on here we're gonna find a uh, it's a gin or a genie gin. I don't know, uh, but it's Ataka Ataka. 
Welcome, you escaped somewhat later than I hoped. So who are you exactly? How soon did you know my name? What is going on here? Well, your name is well known amongst those who watch. Ooh. Your life's thread is bright indeed, though in your path lies many a dark and the frayed end. So, uh... He, he, as easing, as easing your mind and asking such questions, it is not my place to do so. I'm sorry. So, he can't really answer why I'm here. Well, uh, then what, then what use could you be to me? <laughs> uh, yeah, what can, what, what use can you be to me? Um, the assistance you will get from me depends on yourself. Are you prepared to answer a question? But that's interesting. You're just here and you want me to answer questions. Well, fine. Let's do that. Right, his question is as follows. You and your sibling are captured and locked in separate cells, unable to communicate. The mage, responsible, appears and speaks. He explains his sadistic game. In each cell there is a magical button. If you press your button and your sibling does not, you will die, but your sibling is free. If your sibling presses the button and you do not, they will die, but you will go free. If neither you nor your sibling press the button, both of you will die. Ooh, if both of you press your respective buttons, both of you will live. Uh, no, both of you will die. The mage says that you have one turn of the hourglass to decide your action, then he leaves. Tell me, Tower, do you press the button? So either I press the button and my uh, sibling dies, or my sibling potentially pushes the button and I die, and if we both push it, we die, and if none push it, we die. So basically, for me to survive, there's a, I mean, I don't know if that is an accurate thing to say, but 25% chance to live, and 75% 75 75 chance to die, not really, but you know what I mean. So, uh, as I am the Lord of Death, uh, rather, as I am a paladin, obviously I am selfish, so I will not press the button. Truly? I not thought you'd be a coward until this day. Mingle your brethren, coward. I shall test your metal. I shall I shall test your metal. And we get a whole bunch of uh, gibberlings who are immediately breaking. <laughs> That's beautiful. They immediately broke. Which is probably sort of the thing here. Uh, which is a bit annoying as well because they are running away from me. Come on. Oh, this is annoying. Give me some ranged stuff. I know I have some spells, but uh, I don't want to use spells right now. Let's just follow this, because I don't want to go into corridors and... Come on! Jesus! There we go. Corner it. Kill it. There we go. Good job. Uh, ooh. By the way, there we go. That's what I want as well. So yeah, we can uh, answer that in many different ways, but I am sort of role-playing. I mean, at least a little bit. So, uh, as a paladin, obviously, we are very, very selfish. Well, rather, self... The opposite of selfish. What is the opposite of selfish? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> there's one more gibberling somewhere. Now, luckily, I sort of remember ish this place, so I should be able to avoid dying immediately. Which is good. So yeah, he, uh, you come through after all. Here then is the advice that I offer. Seek out relieve. He has been waiting for one such as you. Well, that's fun. Offering the reason he craves, you shall find that the focus of Yuni shall soon become apparent. Well, isn't that nice? And we have some goblins. And that's actually good, because some of these goblins will have bows and arrows and hand. good stuff and spells. And I don't think that I want to pick stuff up, necessarily. Right, uh, backtrack a little bit, because obviously yeah, arrows are a bit so annoying. Sharp. But I think that we're sort of fine. Yeah, kill it. Kill, 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 kill. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Kill the guys with arrows. Thank you. Now you can get a bow and you can get a bow. I'll pick up all the arrows for you though, because obviously you are the priority. But I picked up enough for you to have as well. There we go. Sadly, only short bows, but it's better than nothing. What is my good, good, good. Now we just need a... Uh, I think it's... Is it crossbow that you have become good at? You are good at... Well, actually both uh, crossbow, shortbow and sling. <laughs> On my honor. Yes. So you can have everything. Uh, let's go in this room first. There's some more methods in here. You a missed method. No regrets at all. Kill it. I like Tyr, he's just, he's just going forward. Like a madman. Right, there we go. 
first little methods. A lot of methods. The methods are generally a bit annoying. Um, more stuff. That is a short bow. Well, fine. You know what? I mean, you can use a short bow. So, uh, why don't you get five arrows? Play around with. Uh, that was it. Yes. You can have the identify On spell. Right. Let's keep going. One more method here. An ice one on this occasion. And that's it. Um, I think that... Isn't there a... At least one trap here. We can uh, yes, click around a little bit here on these tanks. The creature within this tube uh, seems to be alive, albeit barely. Uh, the cells that power the tube are lifeless. You need to find a newer power cell to revive this creature. You can do that. Oh, can you? You need to find new power. Can you revive this one? Ah. Did not know that that might be a thing you could do. By the way, I noticed something. Uh, I noticed something. No, that is not here. Auto pause. We need to auto pause on trap found, please. Uh, we uh, we are gonna pause on enemy sighted. Da, 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 da. Central party member. No, we don't need to center a party member. That is not necessary. Uh, there we go. That is a okay. Yes. So, uh, get this done. Also unlock. What is my tag? It shall be. But you can do the picking up of stuff. There's our first plus one weapon. Nice little, uh, nice little quarter staff for you to identify. She is uh, very good at identifying. She has a lore of a hundred. I don't know if lore of a hundred oh is like a max. Like she is now going to be able to, uh, uh, she's going to be able to identify everything. I don't know if that is the case. I don't remember that if she had lore of a hundred in Baldur's Gate one. To battle and victory. Interesting. Missed. Interesting. Interesting. Missed. Yes, you did a critical miss, you idiot. Come on. There we go. Good job. Get in. I don't remember if anything is anything is trapped here, but this is obviously unlocked. Well, sta stand there for a while. I don't think that there's any traps here. So I have a couple of things here. We have, ooh, a Shadina plus two. I did not know that we would be getting a really good weapon here already. Uh, that is a Warhammer with uh, electrical damage, which is just beautiful. To get that, you can identify a longsword plus one, which you can have. Well, actually, no, but you aren't that good with... Well, you're... Are you okay with longswords? You are okay with longswords. Well, then obviously you're going to have that right now. Because obviously plus one is better than not plus one. Uh, you have a medium shield. That is beautiful. You can upgrade your tiny buckler. Good, good, good. And then we just keep looking. Dispel magic and some good, some good healing potions. This is very good that these, this game now has proper healing potions for us. Because these little tiny ones, they are terrible. Uh, actually, let's uh, give you them. Actually, let's... No, actually, you can have that. That's fine. Longbow. Good, good, good. Upgraded. You can have some more arrows. <laughs> and you can have these as well. So that was a flame arrow. That's fine. So that was... Was that everything? Yes, that was everything. And we need a thing to... Uh, before we talk I to that little best. golem. Now we get to a... Why are we healed up? Did we get healed up by that uh, Jin person? Well, that's interesting. I didn't even notice that we got healed up. Hmm. Interesting. Now, we are going to kill these. Which is potentially dangerous. Uh, you are obviously not going to be in the front, you idiot. Uh, yeah, this is potentially dangerous. But we should be fine. So let's just uh, attack these. Attack you. Uh, Web. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Uh, okay, everyone attack, please. Yeah. 
Oh, they actually died immediately. Good, good, good. That is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna get... Ooh. Yep, good, good, good. So, uh, these, uh, the reason why I killed them now is that uh, at a later stage we will uh, activate an alarm. And uh, with them dead, we are not gonna have to bo be bothered by them. So now we are... Uh, we're starting to get somewhere already, which is very nice. Yeah, kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Die, die, die. There we go. No regrets. No regrets. Pick up. Did I hear something scream? <laughs> I think I did. Uh, get that to you, so you can have almost a full set. Uh, other way around. There we go. Let's go talk to Relieve. Really Relieve, really or however you pronounce his name. He's up here. He is up here. Uh, who be the servants of the master? And, uh, by the gods, what happened to you, man? I am dying or dead. I don't remember which. So, who is the master? And he was a friend, I think. <laughs> and the cast out and one of us no longer. One of us. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. Who are you? I was Relev. Re Relev. Relev, I think. Dead, I think. So, how do we escape this place, prisoners? Uh, truly, I have been dead, but not that too long. I seek release. What do you mean by forgotten? Why are you in this jar? And I was a faithful hound to the master, a friend, even. I was dying or dead, I can't remember which truly indeed. Eternal life was to be a reward for this faithful service. Well, that's a way to be eternally alive. Ugh, that's, that's bad. So he's probably forgotten about you, hasn't he? And yeah, indeed, the master's left my side for a study of another. He seeks to awaken power, a study of life and death. Hmm, that is interesting. Do you want me to give you a release from this non-death? Yes, master, uh, I no longer wish to come back. He's very, very sad. How can I help? Um, this unit that contains me is powered by cells, by crystals. Take them and I can sleep, die, and again die at last. Whew, that is a, that is a tough one. So yeah, there are others me, but uh, of more recent experience. They may know how the master exits the complex. We take these cells to revive them. Ooh, so that's like... Have I never bothered with that? I would take the cells to revive the other servants. Yes. Did I never... This is interesting. Have I never bothered with that? Done? Huh. I might not have, you know. Uh, there's a sling here. We'll, we'll pick it up for now. There's also a activation stone, which we will take to went. the guy in here. Let's start by doing that. And then we are going to go down to the other tanks. Yeah, I actually don't know if I've done that. That is interesting that I haven't done that. So yeah, Mr. Sewage Golem here. So yeah, is it you? You have a... Give me no eyes and I cannot see you. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. It is I! Have you performing my services? And the cleanest of shame mission fed your guardian. Oh, that's cute. And I do wish you to open the doors and perform your duties. You have not activated me. Oh yes, here's the stone. I bow to your will. Good job. Yes. More experience for me. It's so, LP. let's actually go for the one at the back here, because that's one that actually did mention... I think I have done this now that I, not, not, now that I go back here. I think I've done this, but uh, I'm a little bit unsure as to exactly what it is that's go going on. And by the way, monks they are faster than everyone else, which has proven to be extremely annoying. <laughs> but we'll deal with it as a, deal with it in this game as well. So here we go. Towards your one, the light, age of awareness, ages of burning. My master, I beg of you. I am no master of yours. Uh, how is it can be? Uh, ha, ha, how is it that you have been imprisoned? It is burning me. My skin is a fire with the crawling of ants. I am not like a genie to be coiled within a bottle for for ah. Uh, it's not doing well, basically. So can you? So what is burning you? And who is this gin? Please, master the hands. Does the djinn have nothing of yours that aided? So that's the djinn over there. And um, I will take the statue and speak to him myself. Uh, where can I find the statue? Uh, please give me the statue of the pain cross along my skin. So where, what, hmm, what, I don't remember this. Yeah, you're not going to do you mad. 
Uh, I see I wish there was something I could do. Huh. Please give me the statue. What could that be? Uh, does Eugene have nothing of yours to aid me? I will take the statue and speak to him myself. There are things that we're going to be picking my, up I will do my best. here. Might one of them be... Uh, I mean, we are going to pick up a statue to get to a djinn. Huh. Potentially. Yes. Uh, so yes. we have someone here. Who is this going to be? Uh, you must hurry. The prison will break soon and you will have the answer that you seek. No, master. I have not had the goal and open himself. He has no key. I beg you forgive us, master. <laughs> so he's uh, having a bit of a chat with himself here. I should return to the prison. Okay, so nothing more from that. Um, over here is one. See, I do. Ha I have done this, by the way. But it's it's a bit of a bit of a small thing. So yep. So, oh, so long I have lain behind this piece of glass do I weep and rage. How long have you been trapped here? I've called out so many, many times to thee, Master. Master, why hast thou forsaken me? And uh, Do you not hear me? Probably not. I mean, no one has really hear me, other than the real Ev. He's like the only one, I think. And yep, yeah, the Master has indeed imprisoned you and left you here. Thou couldst not cure what was done, but surely the magics have increased, Master. Thou didst care for me once. Let me help in thy search. I can do nothing for you, sadly. No boon, Master. I, I long only to hear the words once more. Yeah, this is very, is very sad, etc. Et I own. wonder if this is uh, what was planned for me, perhaps? And uh, someone has been here long as well. Can you hear me? I don't mean to go into the mistress' room. I knew it was dangerous, so very dangerous in there. I was not trying to steal anything, truly. So he was uh, trespassing a little bit. Can you also not hear me? Was I hurt in the mistress' room, master? I can't remember nothing. Uh, please save me. I'm so sorry. I serve only you. Yeah, yes. they, they are very sad creatures in here. Very, very sad creatures. So uh, we know that a lot of untowards things happen in here, for sure. So that is uh, quite sad indeed. But not much that we can do for them. We uh, would have liked to, probably, but we cannot. Let's kill more uh, goblins. There's going to be more goblins in here. There we go. That That's the goblins. And some of them are going to go around, because that's what they always do. But we actually managed to turn them back. Good, good, good. I have party AI on right now, so they should be sort of picking up new targets. Good, good, good. Good job. Some cash here. Back to Ulan for all the arrows. What is my done? Let's go up here. So we are going to want to go towards the... Is it her that's making that noise? <laughs> uh, we are going to want to go up to the right first. And this is going to be... This is going to be this place. More mephits and goblins. That's the mephit. The dust mephit. Is that the Do stealthy one? Potentially. What? Yeah, kill, kill this. It's doing something. Don't know what that was. But uh, ki kill everything. <laughs> now, one of these bookshelves, at least one of these bookshelves, is going to actually carry something important. Uh, I think it's like potions, potentially. Uh, so we, we are sadly going to have to look through each of them, because I don't remember which one. Uh, I think it is potions. So we're going to have a bit of a look around. And isn't there like one or two more? Here we go. I think I found it already. <laughs> There's actually some stuff you can pick up. I don't think that any of the books yes. are interesting. Another method over here. Yep, kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill method. Most. Oh, I'm, I'm going to like that voice over and over again in this game. <laughs> Missed. Yes. We missed. Oh, no, it's actually something here. No alignment. Okay. Pick that up. Nothing fun here. It's going to be one oh more method, isn't it? By the way. Or goblins. Right? Okay. Yes. Not right now. Consider it done. Consider it done indeed. 
just books, books and books. More books. Potion! There we go. I think that is it. No, oh, one more. Un an invisibility. No, a potion of speed is what that was. What is my task? Uh, I will think do my that best. there are goblins here potentially. Or is this down to. No, this is down here. Yes. As uh, so we can. Oh, did we find it already? New enemy. The Otyug. Otyug. I have no idea how to pronounce that. These are very annoying. <laughs> Not very difficult, but they have a very, very annoying uh, disease that slows you down. So let's actually spend a bit of our spells here on it. To get it down fast. I actually think that we avoided his terrible, own. terrible thing. Yes. Good, good, good. Uh, let's go over here for some very important pickups. Which we are going to need. First of all, yes, one important pickup. There we go. <laughs> uh, that was the. F oh, crap, 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 crap. No, 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 no. Did you pick up that, by the way? Yes, you did. That is the Wand of Frost key. Uh, you can have that. Yes. Let's uh, dump all of the other stuff to their respective places. Uh, I think it's better that you actually carry that. Uh, you can have that as well. You, you're the person who's going to do that, because uh, I do believe that there's more traps over here, right? Or is it that, right, this one is trapped, this one is locked, That th that's the thing here. So we got a helmet, more potions. It was actually not in one of those chests, huh, or actually it might be. There's a big chest over here. <laughs> no, actually, uh, sort of slightly remembering now that there isn't, no, exactly, there wasn't actually anything in this. It was the Utyug that had the uh, the thing. That is the same as you already have, no one else can carry that, or have that. Let's identify this, the Eyes of Truth, information, protection against critical hits. So you can take that, that's a cool little helmet, you can get the standard helmet. Whole bunch of stuff. I already want the uh, the scroll case, which I don't have. Quite annoying. Uh, you can have all the potions in the world together with the oil of speed. So that's fine. We have some identification stuff that we can use if we want to. Uh, so that's Very that. I don't think that we have to go up here. Or is it going to be goblins? Yes, there were goblins. We can kill goblins. So easy, easy XP. Pick up, pick up, pick up. More, more identi identification scrolls. I uh, don't think that there's anything else here. So th these are the doors, by the way, that the uh, golem opened up for us. These were locked and behind sort of magical locks. We have a smoke left. You are going to go away, but we're going to find you immediately, apparently. <laughs> so that's good. And again, we don't really have to go in here. There's really no point, but we can. So there's a jail keep golem. We don't need to kill that one. So we want to go up here. Uh, I always sort of struggle to remember which order you should do things, but uh, we need a thing from up here. Or let's look at this. We need a thing from up here to go here. So if we go here first, then we sim we just have to go back here and then back and back and forth and back and forth. We are already going to go back and forth quite a lot. <laughs> uh, enough that I actually potentially will do some jump cuts here because it's a bit annoying that you have to run so much back and forth. Uh, we shall see. I must say that I'm handling the goblins very, very well. Ooh, we got some uh, special arrows already. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Can you identify those yourself? No, you cannot. Those are arrows of biting. Let's see how long it takes until I can uh, upgrade my arrows to special arrows. Because uh, I was doing that in the later oh stages own. of Baldur's Gate 1. I would like to do that as soon as possible. Uh, we are already in Something here, so now it's your time to shine, because there are traps in here. Yeah, you have a sense of imminent danger. Something here is not what it seems. I never really understood that little line. Because as far as I know, there's nothing, like, special. I mean, there are traps, sure. There are traps, but I mean, those are just traps. I don't know. It's a bit weird. 
Uh, yep, yeah, there are a lot of traps, not just the one. But uh, the, ne the next room that we're going to is has even more traps. <laughs> there are so many traps in there. Uh, so we had a trap over here. Did we not have like a small... We had here. Nope, that's open. Yeah, I don't think that there's anything else here. Yes. But I am going be. to do this. What? You can stealthy stealthy. You cannot stealth. You can stealth. I have so many people, by the way, that can stealth. It's a bit, a bit hilarious. So we have a bunch of goblins over here. So you go throw yourself a... Uh, uh, no, you didn't have any fun. You, you had the fun thing. Throw a skull trap here in this general area. And I think that everyone should die. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Man, I love the skull trap. It's amazing. Uh, so yeah, pick up all of this. And uh, there are a couple of things in here. Anything no trapped? <clears throat> let's hope not. Well, it doesn't really matter, but uh, let's check it. I'm waiting. Probably not. Ooh, fireball spell. That's actually that might actually even become useful in this very floor. And. Uh, I might have to cut this episode right here, because I'm sensing that, yeah, we're not going to be done anytime soon on this specific floor, so, you know what, we're going to pause, but not, oh not like this, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, going to collect everything first. So I actually do find the Helm of Balderan. We didn't get the Helm of Balderan in Baldur's Gate 1, because I did something wrong, I think. That is the statue that we need for the djinn, and probably the statue that yes. the guy in, the guy, I say, whatever it is, the creature in the tub actually wanted. I don't know if there's a point in going to, to that guy with the statue. Huh. Might look into that, we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to put a cut in here. Uh, we're going to continue our trek out of this here little place. So, yeah, I'm really happy to do this. Obviously, I like Baldur's Gate 2 more than Baldur's Gate 1. But according to Steam, I have apparently played Baldur's Gate 1 more than Baldur's Gate 2. <laughs> Which is a bit ironic, because yeah, I do think that Baldur's Gate 2 is the better game. So I'm really happy that I am again playing this. Because it was a long time ago since I completed the entirety of this game. So... A lot of things are going to be dear to uh, dear to me to relive again, and uh, I'm going to do it together with you, which is just lovely. So, more of Baldur's Gate 2 is going to come in the next episode. For now, though, this has been Ghost Mutt Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.